Hello everybody! Welcome to Classroom Setup Day 1. Today I had my lovely mama here to help me. We kicked things off by getting everything off of the cart and semi-organized. And by semi-organized, I mean completely chaotic all over my floor. I didn't realize how much stuff I actually got this summer. If you didn't know already, this is a completely new room for me at a completely new school. And I've kept you waiting the whole summer, so I guess it's finally time to share what grade I'm teaching this year. I'm staying in third grade. However, it's still a bit different for me. Instead of teaching all subjects, I am teaching only math and science. So this year I do have another teaching partner except she's teaching language arts and social studies. Our classes are going to switch classrooms throughout the day so each of us are going to teach a total of four classes. I'm super pumped about it and I was thrilled to find out that I was staying in third grade. All right now back to classroom setup. I got the desk layout semi how I want it. I know when I get my roster I'll probably have to change it around just a little bit. I moved this large filing cabinet over here here, and then ended up deciding I didn't like it over there, so I moved it back. And now I'm not sure if I'm even going to keep it in there, but that's where it's staying for now. We muscled up and hauled these blue shelves over to my library corner. I'm like 99% sure this is the corner that I want my library to be in. We had to lay the famous rug out and then move the board back over top. This is not a Promethean board like I had the past two years, so I'm going to have to do my best to learn how to work that. I then decided to try and get started on my teacher desk. One thing that I really like about this room is the teacher desk is huge. More space to lay all my papers out. I got all my flashcards organized, opened a few of my Amazon packages, shout out Mia for these cute pencil holders, and then I decided to become Bob the Builder. I've been looking for some turn-in trays, but while building this, I've realized that there's four containers for four of the classes that I'm going to teach, so I'm thinking about just making each one of these containers a turn-in tray. I'm loving the magnetic latches that this has. You guys know it wouldn't be my classroom without my favorite teacher cart, so I threw her together really quick and then hung up this smiley face. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to keep that there. These are new this year, but I got some read signs to go above my library, set out some plants all around my classroom, then added some magnetic attachments to my board. Students' names are going to go on these little rainbows, and then that's how they're going to make their lunch choices for the day. Last year, I just had them write their name on the board, but this seems to be more effective. This is what the classroom was looking like at the end of day one. I feel like I didn't even make a dent in it, but we've got the whole rest of the week to work on it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Love ya.